Hey everyone, it's a brand new uh, New Year, so happy 2020 to you all. Uh, we're going to start the new year off with a new feature on the channel. And this new feature is, this is Niagara. This is what the new channel is going to be about. It's going to be about me traveling around many places of Niagara and showing you uh, the good, the bad and the ugly, basically. And today, we're going to start off with our very first one. This is Clifton Hill. All right, if you've never seen me before, my name is Nigel Hay, and this is my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And this is our kind of little uh, separate entity here, which is, uh, this is Niagara. If you like the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Right, Niagara Falls wasn't always like this. Uh, the first hotel built in this area was in 1833. And over the years after that, more and more hotels arrived. But these attractions didn't actually appear here until the, uh, the 1960s was the very first one. And some of them have been here ever since. Uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, has been here since the 60s. Guinness Book of Records and a couple of other things have uh, been here since the 1960s. Uh, just modernized over the time so uh, over the years it's grown especially the last uh, 50 60 years uh, prior to that it was just hotels here and the name clifton hill uh, comes from a settlement uh, named by a british um, military officer who bought a plot of land here in niagara and named the settlement clifton and it's believed that clifton came from the name of an area he came from in bristol in the uk uh, which was uh, Clifton, the Clifton Gorge. So this is where the name Clifton came from, the Clifton Gorge uh, from the UK in Bristol. I think most things in Canada are named after the UK anyway. All right, this is the bottom of Clifton Hill. Uh, basically, if I just turn it around right here, uh, Niagara Falls is just over there. The US Falls is that side and the Horseshoe Falls are uh, just through there, you can kind of make it out. Well, you can actually see the falls, but just for those lights, it's Victoria Park. If you just keep walking down there, you will end up at the uh, Table Rock uh, Horseshoe Falls. And this one right here is the US Falls. So uh, there you have it. It's the greatest show on Clifton Hill. Family fun for all ages. cold outside so we came in here the midway get warmed up a uh, great place to come you want to bring the kids uh, but make sure you bring loads of money because it's not cheap in here but there is some good video games you can always tell when you're in a tourist area when you have one of these behind you. 
a big wheel. As you can tell by the speed of it, it's uh, a lot smaller than the London Eye. It's, it's just your regular ferry school, basically. And you can tell by the speed of that, it probably does one with re a re <laughs> can't speak now. Revolution. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, one every two minutes. Whereas on the London Eye, I think it takes 15 to 20 minutes just to go around once. So, a uh, big difference. But the views up there are spectacular. I've never been on it. Tegan has, but I haven't. So one thing I should warn you about if you come into Clifton Hill or any part of Niagara Falls, if you're going to eat or drink, you might want to get it outside of the main area. Uh, the prices are extremely oh, the prices uh, for a basic drink or food is a lot more uh, expensive here. For example, Starbucks. I came down a couple of years ago, bought myself an Americano and it was two dollars more expensive than the Starbucks just up the road. Two dollars more just for a coffee. Right, the best way to describe Clifton Hill uh, for anyone, if you're from the UK, it's basically uh, it's a small version of Blackpool, but yeah, but shit, but cleaner. You know what I mean? Uh, it's bright from the lights, no fun, fun for or anything, but it's basically uh, a tiny Blackpool, shittier but cleaner. Uh, it's a very poor man's Las Vegas. That's another way of looking at it if you're from the States. Very much a poor man's Las Vegas. So, uh, anyway, there's plenty of stuff here to do. All right, so that's it. That is uh, the little walk around Clifton Hill. Clifton Hill, just there, you just walk straight down. 200 meters long, there's a waterfall in front of you. 10 minute, 15 minute walk the other way, and there you have the uh, Table Rock and the other falls. And that basically is Clifton Hill. And that is it for this very first segment of This Is Niagara. Plenty more to come, thanks. If you're planning on staying here in uh, Niagara Falls, Clifton Hill is basically surrounded by hotels and motels. Some of them, gotta be careful what you book. Don't wanna offend anyone, but there's a few places around here I definitely, definitely would not stay in. So uh, make sure you check out where you're staying around here.